Okay, we have a sheet metal part here. If you have a sheet metal part, there is a feature here that will allow you to flatten it out. So if I hit unfold, <clears throat> it shows you what this piece is going to look like. They're going to cut out a strip of aluminum for this, drill some holes, and then after they drill the holes, they're going to bend this part up. So this is a sheet metal part that's been bent up, and uh, I want to try and create a drawing of it. So I launched drafting and we're going to go right to uh, front view. Click over here and I'm going to pick this front face. Click a position. Okay, and then I could go to project and project the view up on top. Problem is this isn't really going to work so great. <clears throat> Usually you will show sheet metal parts in the flattened position and dimension it accordingly. So I will uh, turn this tree on and delete these views and try again. In the sheet metal part, you could flatten it. <clears throat> Go back to the drawing. You know, let's go to layout and see if I can't make this bigger. Desize, create, apply. Give myself some room here. Let's lay up a drawing on here. Let's select OK. Alright, so you got a drawing board. We're going to lay out the view. So again, this part was flattened out. I'm going to come over here. And in all reality, I would just have the top view of that. So, why is this not on? I'm going to click front view. Come over here to the part, and I'm going to pick the top of the face. But you notice it still wants to flatten this thing out. So when I click here, that's not what it really looks like flattened. These are actually tangent lines showing a bend radius. So this is not in a flattened view. So when it comes to sheet metal, these features are not going to work for us. <clears throat> I'm going to hit the arrow key and see if I can remember where it was now the unfolded view. So let's try this. Let's go back here. Fold it back up. Back to the drawing. And I will compare what I did before using the front view versus unfolded view. I'll click on this. Go back to this part. I'll pick on this top surface. And it's thinking here, it's going to rotate it and it's flat. I'm going to click that position. And you can see it laid out the view and it's longer. And the reason why it's longer is these right here are showing bin lines. Okay, so those are your bin lines. That's why when we create sheet metal parts and we do a drawing of it, we cannot use our standard orthographic projections because it will show it in the folded position, regardless as to whether or not I was in space and folded it or flattened it or didn't flatten it. You'll notice that this part is folded up, yet when I went to do the drawing, it flattened it out regardless. So even if I had come here and I unfolded it, <clears throat> come back here and we go to expand the arrow so you can find the unfolded view, and then click back here and click on the top face, click that position, 
you see I get the same results regardless as to whether or not it was folded or unfolded. For both, the orthographic views will show it bent and formed regardless as to whether or not it was unfolded in the space model at the time of creation. And same with the last command, or the, hit the arrow here to show you the command unfolded view. It's like a front view except that regardless as to whether or not the part is flattened or fold, folded, it will project it folded. All right, so in that case, you can uh, delete some of these views. I'll just go ahead and delete that folded view. And uh, for some reason, I've got an update button going on, so I'm just going to update, make sure everything's kosher. And we're good to go. It is now time to dimension the drawing. So if you want, go ahead and dimension up the drawing, see what you come up with, and then uh, I'll show you how I dimension this. <clears throat>